Well, just when you thought it Thanks. was over, it's not. Ohio Attorney, uh, Ohio Secretary of State Jennifer Bruner won her battle last week at the United States Supreme Court. You remember this. And now as a result, she does not have to fork over that list that she has identified of 200,000 potentially problematic voter registration forms. Well, we thought that was it. But we were wrong. Because now House Minority Leader John Boehner is pushing to get the United States Attorney General involved in this thing, hoping to have him force her to give that list to the local boards of election in Ohio so they can figure out who's legit and who's not. Joining us now is Kevin DeWine. He is the deputy chairman for the Ohio Republican Party. These guys were the ones on the other side of that uh, Supreme Court opinion. They lost. Jennifer Bruner won. But now, Kevin, you may be getting a lifeline courtesy of John Boehner. Well, that's right, Megan, and good morning. Uh, leader Boehner sent a, leader to, uh, a letter to the Attorney General, U.S. Attorney General, uh, earlier this week, essentially asking him to do, uh, to compel Secretary Bruner to do what she is required to do under the Help America Vote Act, and that is provide the information about these 200,000 faulty registrations with the county boards of election. So we're, we're pleased with, with Leader Boehner's uh, support and effort here, because at the end of the day, Ohioans who are eligible to vote deserve to have confidence in their election system and that's what we're trying to provide. Yeah, so just so our viewers know, when Bruner took the case up to the Supreme Court and won, the court didn't say she was right on, on the substance of what she was doing. It just said, look, private parties like the Ohio GOP, they're not allowed to sue to enforce the Help America's Vote Act. You got to have the Attorney General of the United States do it. So they said, You're, you Ohio GOP are not the right party to sue and they kicked you basically out of court. And so now Boehner is going to the right party, meaning the Attorney General of the United States, and saying, you do it. Right, and so uh, we appreciate Leader Boehner doing that. We appreciate uh, the Justice Department uh, taking a look at well, it. Are you thinking and, they're going to do it, though, Kevin? Well, well, look, we're going to rely on the fact that we have two lower court uh, rulings, nearly a dozen judges who have said on the merits of the case that Jennifer Bruner is breaking federal law by not providing this information to the county boards of elections. So uh, we hope that the Justice Department takes a look at this and that they're able to step in and that they're able to compel the secretary to follow uh, federal law right, Kevin, because at the end of the day... When, when, you, when you've got two lower court opinions, like you say, that have found that mm -hmm. she's violating the law mm -hmm. in Ohio, this is, these are, you know, courts that have found that. How right. does the Attorney General ignore this and say, no, I'm not going to enforce it. Well, I, I think that's the that's the great issue here. We think we think we are on sound legal footing. Uh, the, the question is going to be about timing and whether or not the, the Secretary of State is going to uh, quit dragging her feet and provide the information that we know she has uh, to the boards of election in a timely fashion and in a uniform that they can in a uniform fashion in which they can use it uh, on election day. Is that's there what, any? That's what this is all about. Sorry for the. There's a satellite delay, so I apologize for interrupting you, Kevin. Let, let me ask you: Is there mm -hmm. any chance, realistically, now 13 days? before the election, that this could get resolved, that the AG, Michael Mukasey, could step in, could file an action, you could get a court uh, to rule one way or the other, and all this could get resolved in time for you to sort out the list problems and have a legitimate vote on November 4th. Well, we, we hope so. We're, to, we're taking a two-track uh, approach here, Megan. We're, we're using, obviously, uh, the help of Leader Boehner, but we're also uh, negotiating through the Ohio Attorney General with the Secretary of State to find a way, if there's a way that we can provide this uh, if she will provide this to the county boards of elections again in a useful format, in a timely fashion, so that it's valuable, useful, useful, worthwhile information uh, on election day. Uh, so we, so we're trying to work a two-track approach to to ultimately bring about bring about yeah. a sense of confidence and and in, in the integrity of the election system in Ohio. I got to go, but I want to ask you quickly. I asked you this once before, and you came on. Originally, she was saying, A, I don't really have a usable list, and B, even if I did. I'd be the one to, to look it over, and I'm not going to give it to the boards of election. Now, it, assuming she gets the list together, right now, if you don't get any court relief, is it up to her to look into the potential voter problems, and is there any guarantee she's going to do that? Has she said she will, in fact, at least look into it herself? Look, she said, she said a week ago, Megan, that she would voluntarily give this information to the boards of elections. Uh, we know she has the list. We know that there are many, that we, that there are many uh, minor technical issues with, with the data. But we also know that with groups like ACORN coming in and putting in tens of thousands of fake and fraudulent voter registrations, that the people of Ohio want that list to get to their boards of elections to make sure that their eligible vote isn't cast out by a fraudulent one. Yeah. She said she'd give it to the board of elections, and, then she, and she that did. was before she appealed to the U.S. Supreme Court to say she didn't actually want to give it after all. Uh, That's right. What a drama in Ohio. Kevin DeWine, thanks so much for being here.